We begin the story here in my little corner of karma. My studio is filled with relics, but I call them souvenirs, tchotchkes. They no longer carry their intent, the story behind them. They're just dead things, clutter. Once in a while, a passerby might pick one up, Take it home and listen to the story. Give it life. The life I gave it once, long ago, renewed and told again. They're like books. Their voices go quiet on the shelf. They need to be read, held and used so they can tell their story. In folk tales, there's a ritual of practice of repeating an action 40 times, a practice of 40 days, a practice of 40 nights, a practice of making 40 things a day, 40 things a night, 40 years of waiting, 40 years of making, making multiples and pondering our collective life and the tangled web of our stories. They have the same roots, but it's hard to find the original thread. I'm the village potter, a maker, non-stop, day in, day out, a storyteller. This is the potter pouring breath, voice, life into the void, the empty vessel, mine, yours, our collective story the story of our time. This is not an eggplant. It's a ceramic object that looks like an eggplant. This is an image. The meaning that you put in gets lost. They become something else, collectible, tied into the web of exchange, the currency of commodity, of use, and utility. While this is about that, it is really about language. Words escape me. They run away. But the work of my hands stays and lingers. This is how I speak and this is what I say. Language is sacred. Language is profane. Language is power. It creates. It destroys. Language is in you. Verbal, visual, visceral. Like signs you no longer see. Like symbols that live. Words stick to your body, sign, symbol, even emoji. This eggplant is not an emoji, while it is. This is not a vegetable, while it is. This is not a fruit, while it is. This is not about the history of how language travels and morphs into something else. While it is, shape the pot, tell the story. The story goes into the world and the world changes around it. Stories travel. They are portable objects with portable meaning. They gain and lose their intent. Things shift and settle and spills out like the contents of a suitcase. The story becomes something else, points in a different direction, messy, misleading, other than what it was. Like the tracks of a fox, some going this way, some going that way. In the end, they find their way back to the hands of the potter to be reshaped and told again.
This is not an eggplant. This is a profanity in a language you don't speak, but you understand if it's spoken to you. Then beyond the absurdity, the density, the obscurity of all this, what do you say? What do you do? At the end of 40 of everything, you dance. You gotta dance now. بودیم چون خوش خوراکی دلم براش حلاکی